Shapes are the cornerstone of vector artwork and something that a lot of us will learn first when working with Illustrator. In this section, you'll learn how to draw simple shapes like a circle and a rectangle. As you create shapes, you'll also see how to edit them and learn what live shapes are. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, if you want to follow along, open this document from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. With your document open, choose View, Fit Artboard in Windows so you can see all of the artwork in the document. Then select the Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left and click on the white triangle shape to select it. You'll learn how to draw a few types of simple shapes, like this triangle, and by the end you'll be able to add shapes to the robot on the right. If you don't see the box and the handles around the shape like you see here, which should be showing by default, choose View, Show Bounding Box. If you see Hide Bounding Box, you're all set. In the Tools panel on the left, click to select the Rectangle tool. Then bring the pointer out into the document window. The first type of shape you'll create is a rectangle. Move the pointer around in the document. As you move it, you might see magenta lines. These are meant to help you align content you create with existing content and are called Smart Guides. Starting on the dashed line here, click and drag to create a rectangle. As you draw with the shape tool, you'll see a small gray label appear that gives you measurements like width and height. This can be really useful for more exacting sizes. Release the mouse button to create a rectangle. Most of the shapes you draw are live shapes, which means you can resize and reposition the shape without having to switch tools. Move the pointer over one of the corners of the rectangle, and when the pointer changes, click and drag to reshape it, making it about the size of the dotted line behind it. As you drag, watch for the diagonal magenta guide, which indicates a perfect square. When you see it, release the mouse button to make the rectangle a square. You can also press the shift key while dragging to make a square. Notice the small widgets in each corner of the shape. Dragging any of these with the shape selected will let you round the corners. Drag any of these corner widgets toward the center of the shape just a little bit to round the corners. Most of the shapes you draw will have options like these corner widgets. Let's try another shape. Click and hold down on the rectangle tool in the tools panel on the left to show some other shapes. Then select the polygon tool. Starting roughly in the center of this dotted triangle, click and drag to make a shape. When the shape is about this size, press and hold the shift key to straighten it. Release the mouse button and then the shift key. Polygons like this one also have shape options, like the rectangle. For instance, this side widget controls the number of sides on a polygon. Drag this side widget up until the shape has three sides. Then, to move the shape, drag the shape from the center, this little circle, to position it over the guides if you need. The last type of shape you'll create is a circle. Click and hold down on the polygon tool in the tools panel and select the ellipse tool. Down here, drag to create a circle. As you drag, watch for these hinting crosshairs which indicate a perfect circle. Release the mouse button when you see them, and the circle is roughly the size you see here. Lastly, you'll create this triangle shape by copying and pasting the one you already drew. Select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and click the triangle you created up here. Choose Edit, Copy, and then edit, paste. Drag the copy of the triangle down here. Then to resize the triangle, drag the point on the right side to the left so that it's narrower. Then drag the top point down to make it a little bit shorter. Finally, drag the shape onto the dotted guides. Now that you've got some experience with shapes in Illustrator, you can continue to explore by creating shapes for this robot using rectangles, circles, and polygons. The dotted guides will help you see which shapes to create where. These donut shapes are actually composed of two circles, a smaller circle on top of a larger circle. The smaller circle has a red fill color. You'll learn about changing the color of shapes in the video on changing the color of artwork. Let's save a copy of this file by choosing File, Save as. Change the name of the file, that way you don't overwrite the original. Click Save, and then click OK.